Before Sweden unveiled the JAS-39 Gripen, a super-maneuverable, lightweight, and technologically advanced fighter that has become a cornerstone of modern air forces, there was a peculiar aircraft with a radical double-delta wing capable of shattering the sound barrier and launching from the unlikeliest of runways, public highways. This was the Saab 35 Draken, a product of Sweden's fiercely independent engineering ethos, born in the crucible of Cold War necessity. Far from being a mere historical curiosity, the Draken laid the philosophical and technical groundwork for the Gripen, embodying a vision of small, smart, and autonomous fighters tailored for a small nation's defense. The Gripen did not fall from the sky. It is the culmination of a 70-year journey of innovation, a lineage that began with the Draken's audacious design and evolved through the Saab 37 Viggen to reach its apotheosis in the Gripen's network-centric brilliance. This is the story of how Sweden's unique defence philosophy, rooted in autonomy, agility and asymmetric warfare, forged a path from the Draken to the Gripen, shaping a model that even NATO is beginning to reconsider in light of modern conflicts. In the 1950s, as the Cold War cast a shadow over Europe, Sweden faced a daunting challenge defending its neutrality against the looming threat of Soviet aggression. With a small population and limited resources, Sweden could not afford to emulate the American model of large, expensive aircraft laden with cutting-edge weaponry. Instead, it pursued a radical vision of technical autonomy and operational efficiency. The Saab 35 Draken, first flown in 1955, was the embodiment of this philosophy. Its double delta wing, a bold configuration with an 80 degree inner sweep for high speed performance and a 60 degree outer sweep for low speed stability was unlike anything in the Western world. Tested on the Saab 210 Lil Draken prototype, this design enabled the Draken to achieve Mach 2.3 making it Western Europe's first truly supersonic aircraft. Equipped with two 30mm Aden cannons, AIM-9 Sidewinder missiles, and an Ericsson PS-03 radar tied to the Strill-60 datalink, the Draken was a formidable interceptor. Yet its true genius lay in its operational model. Designed to operate from Sweden's Ba-60 dispersed airbase system, it could take off from 800-metre stretches of reinforced public roads, be refuelled and rearmed by conscripts in under 10 minutes and return to the fight. This distributed model prioritised survivability and rapid response, reflecting Sweden's defensive posture, a small, agile force capable of repelling a larger adversary. The Draken's philosophy, light, maneuverable and independent, set a template that would define Swedish fighter design for decades. The Draken's successor, the Saab 37 Viggen, introduced in the 1970s, built upon this foundation while expanding its scope. The Viggen was a technological marvel, the world's first aircraft to combine attack, fighter, reconnaissance and training roles within a single airframe. Its canard delta configuration, a forward canard wing paired with a delta main wing, retained the Draken's aerodynamic ingenuity while improving low speed handling and short field performance. Like the Draken, the Viggen was designed for Sweden's dispersed basing strategy, capable of operating from highways and being serviced by small crews under austere conditions. Its PS-37 radar and advanced avionics allowed for precision strikes and air superiority missions, while its thrust-reversing RM-8 engine, a modified Pratt & Whitney JT-8D, enabled unprecedented short takeoffs and landings. The Viggen's multi-role capability marked a significant evolution, yet it remained true to the Draken's core principles, a compact, cost-effective aircraft optimized for national defense rather than superpower projection. 
By integrating stronger radar and more accurate weapons, the Vigan bridged the gap between the Draken's interceptor focus and the multi-role versatility that would define the Gripen. It was a crucial intermediate step, refining Sweden's commitment to autonomy and operational flexibility in an era of escalating technological complexity. Enter the JS-39 Gripen, the perfect heir to this legacy, which took flight in 1988 and entered service in 1996. The Gripen distilled the Draken and Vigan's philosophies into a modern, network-centric masterpiece. Retaining the Canard Delta configuration, it combined the Draken's agility with the Vigan's multi-role versatility, but added a new dimension, digital warfare. The Gripen's lightweight design, powered by a single Volvo Aero RM12 engine, a derivative of GE's F404, delivers a thrust-to-weight ratio that rivals heavier fighters, while its operational cost, around $5,000 per flight hour, undercuts competitors like the F-16. With a single pilot and a ground crew of five, the Gripen can be refueled, rearmed, and airborne in 10 minutes, perpetuating Sweden's dispersed basing model. Its advanced avionics, including the PS-05A radar and a tactical data link, enable network-centric operations, allowing it to share real-time data with other platforms. This makes the Gripen not just a fighter, but a force multiplier in asymmetric warfare. Its ability to carry a wide array of weapons, from meteor missiles to precision-guided bombs, ensures it can handle air-to-air air-to-ground and reconnaissance missions with equal proficiency. The Gripen's design reflects Sweden's enduring commitment to building small, smart fighters that prioritize survivability and independence over sheer numbers or brute force. The Gripen's lineage is a testament to Sweden's refusal to follow the superpower model. Unlike the United States or the Soviet Union, which built massive, resource-intensive air forces, Sweden crafted a defense strategy tailored to its geography and geopolitics. The Draken's ability to intercept Soviet bombers from remote bases, the Vigan's multi-role flexibility, and the Gripen's network-centric efficiency all share a common thread. The belief that a small nation can achieve strategic parity through innovation and adaptability. This philosophy of less but better has proven remarkably prescient. The 2022 Russo-Ukrainian War has underscored the value of light, mobile and maintainable aircraft in asymmetric conflicts. Ukraine's success with dispersed operations and rapid repairs mirrors Sweden's BAS 6090 system, while the Gripen's low cost and flexibility have drawn interest from nations seeking alternatives to expensive Western or Russian platforms. Even NATO, long dominated by American heavy fighters, is re-evaluating the merits of Sweden's approach particularly as resource constraints and hybrid warfare redefine modern conflicts. The journey from Draken to Gripen is not merely a technical evolution, but a narrative of philosophical continuity. The Draken's double delta audacity, born of necessity in the 1950s, challenged conventional design and proved that a small nation could rival superpowers. The vegan refined this vision blending versatility with operational pragmatism. The Gripen, now in its EF variants, represents the zenith of this 70-year ecosystem of independent innovation. It is a fighter that embodies Sweden's defiance of dependency, its refusal to rely on foreign powers or conform to their doctrines. Looking at the Gripen today, one sees not just an aircraft, but a story of resilience, ingenuity and foresight. A story that began with a strange highway launch jet called the Draken. As global militaries grapple with the lessons of Ukraine and the demands of 21st century warfare, Sweden's model of small, smart and autonomous fighters offers a blueprint for the future.
proving that the legacy of the Draken endures in every sweep of the Gripen's wings, 